your mid-November love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How's it going, guys? Let's see. What do you guys have going on? Guys, if you are single, single, I never know which direction this um, general love is going to go, but there is a singles reading posted specifically for single people. For each sign, um, it's shorter than my usual ones, but it's just for singles. So we'll see where this one goes, but if it ends up not being singles and you are single, there is that one posted just for you. All right, guys. There we go. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey a great appreciation. And it doesn't have to be anything material, you know? Somebody might just need to know that they're important, and that doesn't mean they have to spend a ton of money on them. All right, here we go, guys. What is your overall energy as it pertains to your love life? Mid-November. So this is going to be from the middle of the month to the end. And this is going to be how you're thinking, how you're feeling, what you're up to. Everything else in the reading can be for you or them. Oh, no. What? Aquarius. What's up? You have to tell me. Okay, so your overall energy is yourself reverse. So you're not in your power. You're not in your element. You're feeling like, like things are just not going your way, you know, feeling down on yourself. I'm going to clarify this one right away before I get, get on to the rest of the reading because that really bothers me. We don't ever want to come up reversed as ourself in our own reading. That sucks, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe you've just been through something. Um, something really major and you feel like you're just not you're not able to heal from it clarify the star reverse for Aquarius oh, man if I could get these cards right today hold on guys try this again clarify the star reverse for Aquarius why is Aquarius reversed in their own reading why why guys clarify the star reverse for Aquarius the six of swords reverse okay so there's a situation that you're involved in that's difficult there's a lot of challenges a lot of conflict and you're not leaving it um, and it's causing you to feel like, you know, like, like your prayers aren't being answered, like things are just not working for you, like you just cannot, you can't heal enough, <laughs> you, you don't feel like you have the strength to leave a situation that is difficult, right? The Six of Swords reversed, it's like a situation that you should be leaving, but you're not. Um... And I think that you're missing some signs that the universe is trying to send you. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Um, and you definitely need to take some time to get in touch with yourself spiritually so that you can so that you can hear these things and listen to your intuition and recognize the signs when they happen because the universe is, is really trying to talk to you here and you are feeling like you're not getting any answers from the universe, right? It's just a healing. It's just... When we're foggy, it's hard for us to see things like that. All right, recent past for Aquarius. Ace of Wands. All right, well, it looks good for your recent past. See what's going on. I will show these to you as I read them too, okay? Present energy. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Immediate future for Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, we will stop there for now and clarify, and then we'll finish up. So in your recent past, you have the Ace of Wands. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this was like a new beginning for you. You know, this is this is like a new passionate beginning. You guys probably, there was a lot of attraction, a lot of passion there. Maybe was short-lived because it is fire energy, ace of wands. You know, we don't know how long that's there for. Um, so it might have just been that something was really short-lived. Like it came in and kind of fizzled out. 
and it's one of those situations where like it was so good when it first started that it's like hard to hard to leave it when you know that it's done or that you should or that's not healthy anymore um and with the wheel of fortune reversed in your present energy it's just a feeling of you know life not going your way things are just kind of falling apart nothing's moving it's delays it's you know the timing's off and that's not that's not a permanent thing it's just a timing issue it has to do with the universe divine timing all that i hate saying that because i'm so impatient but it's real i mean that's what's happening here it's delays so while you feel like you know the universe isn't hearing you it is it's just not the right time and i don't mean not the right time for this person like they it might be a better time for them in the future um that how do i want to say it? okay so when i say it's not the right time that doesn't mean that this person's going to come back or whatever in six months that's not what i mean there's just something here that's that's delaying this and they can they can go for good or they can come back you know whatever well there you go you got the ace of wands again in your present so it looks like it's still there it's still there the passion's still there but there's something there's something holding you guys back from taking any action or you moving in a new direction because this is a new beginning right i think you're still in a situation that's difficult but i think there's another opportunity here and i think that you're just not seeing it let's clarify this ace of wands Oop. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aquarius. The Three of Pentacles. Might be with a co-worker. Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So it's like a new creative pursuit. So it might be someone that you work with. Might be someone that you meet through work or just whatever it is that you do that you're passionate about. You might meet them through that. But it's definitely a building together. It's teamwork. It's there, there's some delays, and I think that the delay is that you're still in something else. Or at least still thinking about something else or someone else. All right, and in the future, you have the Eight of Pentacles, so that's putting in the work again. Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, working towards that Ten of Pentacles, right? It can indicate, it can indicate some repeated patterns when it comes to a love relationship, but it really is just, perfecting your craft so it's working towards working towards your goal really hardcore like really putting in the work clarify the eight of pentacles again could definitely be somebody that you work with oh the ten of wands so it looks like somebody's getting dropped or something is getting dropped in the future fire aries leo sagittarius something becomes too heavy for someone here and it might be their job it might be that somebody's just a workaholic and they need to drop some of that responsibility because they don't have time for a relationship. Um, but definitely something's closing out in the future here. And it's something that you want to close out because it's really heavy. It's really draining you. For them, potential obstacle for Aquarius in love. Potential obstacle for Aquarius. Oh gosh, you guys are kidding me, right? The Six of Swords reversed again. That's your overall energy and it's your obstacle. Like I said, that's what's holding you back. That's what this delay is. There's this new opportunity here for you, this new option, probably a new person that you're kind of overlooking. You're not even seeing it as that because you're still stuck in this. This It's either a whole relationship or a mindset that you're stuck in. That While you think that you're being held back, it's, it's yourself that's holding you back. You know, you're coming up reversed. So you're holding your own self back by staying in something that is challenging when there's this whole other thing here that you could be doing. Um, and it might just be timing. It might be, you know, if you work with the person or you're in something that it just might take some time here to get to where you need to be to embark in this other direction. Does that make sense? I hope so. I'm okay, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, advice for you. Advice for Aquarius in love. Thank you, guys. Nine of Cups reverse. Watch out for putting your happiness in another person. You need to fill your own cup before you try to give to another person. Um, and don't let anyone put their happiness in you. 
We all have to be happy within ourselves. Otherwise, we're not going to draw. We're not going to draw someone to us that is happy with themselves, and we're just going to be filling voids all over the place with other people, and that's not healthy. And you've got the Hierophant reverse Taurus energy. Um, with the Hierophant reverse here, you definitely, definitely, like I said before, um, you need to get in touch spiritually right now. I think you guys have cut yourself off from that. Um, if there's somebody that you talk to spiritually, I would do that. And I don't think that it's the time to enter into any serious commitment because there's some there's some things that need work here first. All right. One more advice. It could be that the advice is to leave a commitment as well. <laughs> Because it's just not fulfilling anymore. And we have the hanged man reverse. So it's time to take some action, guys. It's time to take some action here. Leave a connection that is not fulfilling anymore. And make sure that you are in touch spiritually. Okay? Actually, I don't think I need to clarify anymore. That was pretty straightforward. And you're just getting repeating cards anyway. All right, Aquarius. Take care, guys.